Dear friends, I am Janu Barua, a filmmaker from Assam. As you are aware that people everywhere in the country are protesting against this Citizens' Amendment Act. However, we feel that there are many confusions and misinterpretations amongst the people outside North East about the protest that is going on in Assam. In that context, I want to explain to you how the protest in Assam is very much different from the one that is going on elsewhere in the country. To start with, I want to advise you that the people of Assam are mainly fighting for the safeguarding of their identity and it has nothing to do with religion. Look, like all of you, we also love our language and culture. And we are very proud of the fact that the Assamese society is composed of all the indigenous people of the state that has been living together so harmoniously for centuries. It is not at all religion-centric. It is very much a language and culture-centric society. All kinds of people are in it. Mongoloid, non-Mongoloid, all religion, all caste, creed, and whole lot of tribes and whatnot. And this diversity is the most profound, unique identity for the people of Assam. And we are very proud about it. And we surely don't want to see it getting extinct in years to come at any cost. But, unfortunately, with this new Citizens' Amendment Act coming in, the very identity of ours is getting threatened. How? Let me explain to you. As you may remember, the Assam movement of the 80s on the foreigners issue, which went on for six years and ended with the signing of the Assam Accord. And as part of this Assam Accord, it was very clearly decided that Assam would accept only those migrants who had entered into Assam on or before 24th of March 1971, and that the government would detect, delete and deport all those who had entered Assam on or after 25th of March 1971. But this new Citizens' Amendment Act is saying no, Assam has to accept migrants of another 43 years, that is all those who had come into the state on or before 31st of December 2014. And the people of Assam are saying, no, we cannot accept that. If we accept that, that will be the end of our language and culture. And that's the protest. Now I want to show you some charts which may make you understand the issue better. The first one is on population. Mind you, it's not my figures, it is census figures. Here you can clearly see that as per 1971 census, Assamese speaking people were 60.88 percent and in 2001 census it has come down to 48.81 percent, a drop of 12 percent. On the other hand, Bengali speaking people had shot up during this period by almost 8 percent, which means an additional more than 20 lakhs got added. Obviously, this additional 20 lakhs were all Bangladeshi migrants and Assam has accepted them. And mind you, this protest is not at all anti-Bengali. The people of Assam are concerned about the problem of the foreigners coming in and outnumbering the indigenous people of the state, like it happened in Tripura. And obviously Assam doesn't want to become another Tripura. Now let's see another chart, the future projection. If this act is enforced. 
This shows the projection for the next three census. If the Citizen Amendment Act is not enforced, this figure of illegal migrants would be zero and Assamese would feel safe as it shows here. Now we don't know this figure of illegal migrants which government wants to give citizenship to. Some says the figure is lax, some says it is close, some says very insignificant, but no one knows the exact figure. All we know that it is not a negligible figure and also we know that all of them are Bangladeshi migrants. Lately, a PTA report says that on 11th of December, when the bill was being debated in the Rajya Sabha, the government kept referring to this figure as lax and close. If that is so, it's quite scary. Anyway, forget close, take one crore. Let's see how it changes Assam's demography. Here it is. You can see if it is one crore, in next census itself, which is one year from now, SMEs get outnumbered. Forget one crore, say 70 lakhs. See, even with 70 lakhs, SMEs get outnumbered in this coming census of 2021 itself. Let's say 60 lakhs. With 60 lakhs, SMEs get outnumbered by 2031 census. Say 50 lakhs. Then also, SMEs get outnumbered by 2041 census. So, one has to admit that the fear is very genuine. In this world, no community wants to be outnumbered in their own place. Now, also at times the government uh, keeps making a vague statement that Assam should not worry. Since it's a national problem, all these migrants would be distributed all over the country. Fine. If that happens, nothing like it. I have another chart. This shows the percentage of India's land occupied by each state. Here are the percentages. Here please note that minus the Sikh schedule, Assam occupies only 1.67% of India's land. And now, if the migrants are distributed all over the country, here are the share of burden accordingly. If the illegal migrants are nil, share of burden also are nil for everyone. But if it is one crore, let's see what happens. Here, if it is one crore, then Gujarat has to take 6 lakhs, Maharashtra has to take 9 lakhs 45,000, Rajasthan has to take 10 lakhs 51,000, and accordingly the other states. Now, the question is, will any of the states be prepared to take the migrants accordingly? As we know, none of the states will be prepared to take them. Now the next question, when the entire rest of the country is not prepared to take them, how can one impose the entire burden on Assam when Assam has already taken more than 20 lakhs in the past and when Assam minus the six schedule occupies only 1.67% of India's land. Now the big question, is it fair? Moreover, as I said, the SME society is composed of all the indigenous people of the state. That way, this act is a huge violation to the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of the Indigenous Peoples particularly Article 12, Article 13, 
Article 26 and Article 31. And mind you, India is a prime signatory to this declaration. So friends, with this information, I hope you have understood the issue a little better. Whether you support Assam's protest or not, that is your call. Thank you very much.